Hi guys and welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make crumpets and let's begin. So to start on the recipe, get yourself a large mixing bowl and into the mixing bowl place your red flour along with the salt and give them a good mix until they are fully incorporated. You can then go ahead and add in the sugar and the yeast and give it a mix just to incorporate it. You can then go ahead and add in your water which is at 37 degrees and this is important that it is at 37 degrees. You will then want to just whisk this in until it's fully incorporated making sure that the batter is smooth. Once you've got your smooth batter you can then cover the mixture with some cling film or a sandwich bag which has been cut in half like I have and then leave this somewhere for 40 to 50 minutes to ferment. And after that time is over, you should notice that the mixture has proved up a lot and this is completely normal. You'll notice how aerated it is and this is perfect. You can go ahead and add in the second weight of water, which is also at 37 degrees, and just whisk that in until it's fully smooth. It may take a bit of work as it's proved up, but don't worry, once it's fully smooth, you are good to go. Allow it to sit for 5-10 to 10 minutes just to rest. So go ahead and grease your frying pan and the ring you use. I'm using a small cake tin, but feel free to use an egg ring. You'll then want to fill it around a third of the way, as it does proof up while it's baking a little bit. And you'll notice that the bubbles start to form on top. And then once you've noticed that the bubbles have stopped and they, when you poke it, it doesn't fill in, you can then take it, flip it over, and you're good to go. It doesn't need very long once you've flipped it, as you just want to add some colour in. And then you can take it up and allow it to cool. And this is what they look like once they're fully baked and cooled. They're quite, they're a bit bigger than the ones that you can get at the supermarket, but that's fine. And pretty much I like to let mine go cold and then reheat them in the toaster and slather them with butter. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more from me. And I'll be back again on Thursday with another video for you, so join me then. In the meanwhile, don't forget to check out the description. There'll be a link to the blog post for the crumpets, along with a link to my blog for all the other recipes and all my social media links. Don't forget to go and check them out. But until next time, bye guys.